Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Coach Duke, man. Back with another banger. And before we get into today's video, y'all, I'm gonna need you guys to do two things for me right now. Make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter, at CoachDuke underscore, and follow me on Twitch, CoachDukeYT, man. Both links are down below in the description. Make sure you follow both of those, man. I need all my YouTube supporters showing love on the Twitch streams, man. We'd be going absolutely crazy. I need you guys to watch this video all the way through from start to end. If you guys want to see, you know, the entire thing and see the exact method and everything on what to do. Because look, y'all, Big Top is back again. I know a lot of you guys are probably very disappointed. Like, why are they bringing Big Top back again? But what I've heard and what I believe is that this is most likely going to be the last Big Top event of NBA 2K20. And I'm going to hook you guys up with the best method to complete all the challenges as fast and efficient if you guys haven't beaten it yet. And to help you guys out, because I know some of you guys still need the help. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to beat every single event. As you guys can see, the event today is from 3 a.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern, so there is still pretty much all day left to complete it, and I'm going to hook you guys up. As you guys can see for the rewards, I'm wearing them right now. I've won this event multiple times, so I've won every single possible reward. But pretty much you pick two out of either a blue uh, right arm sleeve with mascots on it, a white backpack with mascots on it, and a red right leg sleeve with mascots on it and there's also like a little bit of vc and a couple skill boosts as well so you choose some of those obviously i have all of those as well so i'm going to show you guys every single method so if, if this method does help or anything in this video helps you guys out if you guys are struggling with the event and you stumble upon my video and you like the way i explain stuff and you like the way you know how i you know explain the method and how to get into it make sure to just help me out right back bro it's all i ask it's free to sub and show love just hit that subscribe button y'all a lot of you guys that watch my videos are not subbed and i'm trying to hit this big 20k before nba 2k21 so if you could just, just hit that subscribe button man it would mean a lot it would mean so much it really takes two seconds hit that notification bell so you guys never miss another banger make sure it says notify all and make sure to drop like on this video man let's aim for 200 plus likes and let's get into it y'all let's go into this big top event right here as you guys already know, Big Top's been out all year, so you guys obviously know it shrinks your body, gives you a nice little fat head, a nice little Big Top. You already know, this is my first time actually going with my Formula Home, but this looks pretty fire. Yes, sir. I don't know what 2K was thinking this year. I mean, Big Top, it's a, it's, a, it, I guess it makes sense, but like, like, I get what they were trying to do with it. Like, the kind of concept is kind of dope, I guess, but the way they set it up and the way it's run is just, it's not it, Chief, to be honest, like. There's not enough spots. There's a lot of waiting around for games and stuff. Um, you have to like get a, a secure a dead park if you know you really want it. This park's pretty dead actually. You want you have to secure like a dead park if you really want back to back if you're grinding rep. And also look at the top of it. it says two times rep right, but the whole park isn't two times rep. Only this trampoline cage and the house rules all the way to the right is double rep. The rest of the park is not double rep. I think if they were to fix this or add it back next year, they need to make some adjustments and make everything double rep because. Once you complete the challenges, since they're not that hard, people are going to want to, you know, play in this park. And it would be dope to just have double rep because it is a new park and it is kind of, you know, kind of fire. And also, there is, I heard there is like a glitch to go into the park, you know, without your big head with your normal size player, like just for you to see. But I also believe that you shouldn't have to, you know, have a glitch. Obviously, for this part of the event, it's cool to have the big top. But then if you want to chill and, you know, play park, you should be able to switch it back, I think. But those are my two things. But anyways, let's get into it, y'all. So as you guys can see for big top, there's three challenges to complete. You have to complete the trampoline ball, the mini basketball, and the house rose three times. Beat the trampo trampoline ball and the house rose three times against the mascots. And then you have to score 150 or more on the mini basketball, man, to complete those scores three times. Uh, you get two choices from the 2K prize picker. Prizes include custom clothing and more. And those two um, challenges are two times rep. So starting off right here, um, we're actually going to start off with the hardest part that you guys are always complaining to me about. In the last video I posted, every time I streamed this event, it was like, Duke, how are you so good at the mini basketball? It's really impossible. I can never complete the mini basketball. And this is like, these are the last thing people have to complete to win the event. And if you're not good at it and you can't complete it, you can't complete the event. So I'm going to help you guys out with the best method and the best steps to do it because I am really good at it. The highest I've ever gotten was like 260, I believe. It's pretty easy for me to get 150. I did play a couple, you know, just to, when I was first getting on, getting into my Elgato and everything set up. And I did get like a 236, so that's actually really good. But I'm going to hook you guys up. So first, before we even get on the court, you want to make sure you're using square. So make sure you guys are using the square button. Do not use your analog stick or anything like that. Um... Because it's the smoothest way to do it. Just look at the timing, like I said. And you want to release it in between your nose and your chin, y'all. Release it between your nose and your chin. That's the best way to release it. And just look at the stuff on on the uh, on the back of the, the game mode and on the levels to help you guys up. I'm about to show you guys while I'm doing it what I mean by that. So let's get right into the mini hoop. So as you guys can see right here, 
if I can hop on the spot. All right, so I'm going to lock in for y'all right here, get this easy 150. So as you guys can see, look at the bottom and the top. So on the top, as you guys can see right there on the top, it does show your score and it shows the time remaining. On the bottom, it shows the level and the streak. So the higher the level, the more levels you go, the more time that's get, that gets added onto your current time, which gives you more time to get 150. So you want to get as many levels as possible. The highest I've ever gotten was like level 12 or level 13. So you want to make sure you're going as many levels as you can to add time and get the maximized amount of time. The first couple levels are really easy, and then it gets more challenging for the timing. It makes the time a little more difficult. But right here, as you guys can see off rip, I'm just getting straight excellence, level 5 already, flying through this thing. And you want to make sure you get to like level 7, level 8, around the 30, 25 second mark to secure at level 9, by like 20 seconds, we'll 100% secure it. As you guys can see right here, we're already on level 6. We're just flying through this thing, man. About to easily get on level 7 really quick before I get into the next part. Oh, I just missed that. We get into level 7 before I explain the rest. But as you guys can see on the top, it says excellent. It gives you your feedback. Excellent, slightly early, slightly late. Obviously, if you're releasing it excellent, you don't want to make any changes to your release. You want to just keep releasing it the exact same because you're, you're doing perfect. You're doing just fine. If it's slightly late, you obviously want to release it a little earlier. And if it's slightly early, you want to obviously release it a little later. And just look out of the corner of your eye. So I use my left eye to look at the release, to look at the release between the nose and my chin. And I use my right eye to just look at the scoreboard, look at the streak, look at everything like that. Look at my score and the time. As you guys can see, I'm on level eight with 50 seconds left, so we have plenty of time. I'm just breathing through this. I'm about to get on level nine really quick as well. Just going crazy. And this is just so easy for me. Like, it's just hand-eye coordination. I'm just used to it. Now I'm just getting straight excellence. I did choke right there, but we'll still be fine because we have plenty of time. As long as I just get to level nine by like 20 seconds, we'll be 100% secure right here. Let me just walk in really quick to get this for y'all before I keep explaining because it is for the video. As you guys can see, excellent. Here we go, level nine. 140 with 44 seconds. We're just flying through this. I'm just a beast of this, bro. So if you guys need, need help on the mini hoop, um, DM me on Twitter, at Coach Duke underscore. I will be helping some of y'all. It'll also be in the pinned comment, so make sure to check the pinned comment in this video. But then as you can see, it gets higher. So like level 9, the streak is like a 14. I move out level 10, you have to get to like 20, so it does get very complicated. Right now, I'm not even paying attention because I already got it, but easily past 150, as y'all can see. Just make sure you pay attention to those steps. Release between the nose and your chin. Look at the timing. And just another big thing about mini hoop, y'all, you have to stay composed. A lot of people in the 2K community, they get frustrated really easy with this event, and they just give up. You have to stay composed. If you're getting a lot of slightly late or a lot of slightly early, you can't get any excellence, and you know, you're really struggling with the timing, stay stay patient, stay calm, and just really lock in, and you'll get it. As you guys can see, easily 190 to complete it right there, man. You just have to stay patient. Patience is very key because if you get frustrated, you're going to mess up and you're never going to complete it. As you can see, 190. Yes, yeah, so I did get the 236 right there. So that's how you complete the hardest part of the event, the mini basketball. Obviously, for me, it's pretty easy, but for some of y'all, it's not. So make sure you use those steps and follow that very carefully. So now, to get into the last two parts of this event, y'all. As you guys can see, the trampoline hoop. So this is the cages. It's just like the cages. As you guys can see, the trampolines that you can bounce off of. It is against three CPU mascots, y'all. So on defense, what you want to do is you want to have two of your teammates or you and another teammate sitting in the middle of the paint, just hopping off the paint, the trampolines in the paint, just blocking shots, batting them away. The mascots, only one of them, I think, can really shoot. They love just jumping off the trampolines and just throwing a million alley-oops. Like, they won't even go up. They'll just keep throwing it between each other until they get an open hoop, and then they'll either dunk it or lay it up. So just keep jumping off the trampolines, time your jumps, and just you know, break up all the attempted at alley-oops, break up all the shots, and you'll be 100% fine. And then on defense, in the mini hoop, it's just like cages, obviously. Um, in the trampoline ball, it's just like cages, so there's no threes. Everything counts as a two. So on offense, either just give it to like a slasher or like your center, and just have them hop off the trampoline and dunk the ball easy two every single time. Or you can do the court conquer method, man, and have your guard held L2, and just have your slasher or your center once again just wrap around, throw them an alley -oop off the trampoline, and you'll get two points every single time. So it's against CPU mascots, beat this three times. Offensive defense are pretty self-explanatory. And now getting into the last part of the event, y'all, is the house rules. So for the house rules, you guys know house rules has been in pretty much every single 2K. A wheel spins at the beginning. Um, it's a bunch of, you know, a bunch of challenges on it, and it changes the way you play for the game. So this is also against three CPU mascots. You have to beat it three times. However, in this, there is threes. So before we even get into the house rules part of it, if you're just playing normal and you don't get anything to really affect the game, you can shoot threes. So if your guard knows what he's doing, you don't even need a screen. Your guard can really just ISO, do a hesitation, step back, and green every single time in the CPU's face. It's pretty easy. Or you can do it off a screen. But if your guard isn't that good at it and doesn't really know what he's doing and can't do that, you can set a double screen for him and you'll be wide open and just get an easy three-pointer every single time. But obviously, if you're grinding rep, you're not going to do that. You're going to want to throw wobs. So you can do the court conquer method right once again, have your... 
um, guard go to like the hash area, have him hold L2, have your center or slasher just wrap around and catch every single lob for the easy rep. And also, y'all, not getting into the house rules part of it, um, there are parts of it that say double dunks, double alley-oops. So in that case, you want to obviously just do the court conquer method, throw alley-oops. You'll get easily four points every time instead of two. You'll complete the games faster, and you'll still get maximized rep if you're grinding for legend or grinding for next rep. So that's very effective. So make sure to use that method for both of those. So that is house rules. You want to beat this three times, and then you complete the big top challenge and get the rewards, as you guys can see. So that's how you complete all the challenges, man. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. I will be answering all the comments all day. If you guys need my help to win on your account and complete the challenge, I will be winning for a couple supporters. So make sure you guys DM me on Twitter at Coach Duke underscore. Like I said, it will be in the pinned comments. So make sure to go check that out. If this method did help you guys at all, man, hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 20K. Let me know down below in the comment section if you're a new sub and I might follow you back on Twitter. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you guys never miss another banger from your boy and drop like on this video, man. Let's aim for 200 plus likes. I appreciate all the love and support. Big 20K on the way, man. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, bro. Peace.